We are back at Bill Davis Stadium where Ball State took apart Ohio State by a final of 14 to 4. Alongside Miles McQuinn, I'm Charlie Danis. And boy, Miles, at first, this game was a back and forth affair between the Buckeyes and the Cardinals, but it seemed like from the fifth inning on, Ball State just was like a production line offensively. Kept going. Offense, offense, offense. That was the name of the game. That was the summary of the game for Ball State tonight. 14 runs on 14 hits, and they left 12 on base on top of that. Just chew on that for a second. For Ball State, two in the second, three in the fifth, four in the sixth, one in the seventh. They took a break in the eighth. They let Ohio State catch their breath, and they pummeled them with four in the ninth. Caleb Staten was one of the heavy hitters for the Cardinals today as he homered and drove in four. Lone bright spot for Ohio State tonight was Shane Murray, who had a couple of triples and drove home three. The winning pitcher in tonight's game for Ball State happened to be Brendan Burns. He improved his record to three and two. Meanwhile, Jake Vance got hit with a loss for Ohio State tonight as his record dropped to 0 and three. Ball State gaining momentum as looks as though that uh, they will be looking good as by the time they get back into conference play in the MAC this weekend. Meanwhile, for Ohio State, they have to ready themselves for a big series against the Iowa Hawkeyes. That they do, and you got to find a way to recover and move on from here if you're the Scarlet and Gray. For my broadcast partner, Miles McQuinn, and also for Hannah Klein as well, who joined our broadcast tonight, this is Charlie Dane saying one final time, the final score from Bill Davis Stadium, Ball State 4, uh, Ball State 14, Ohio State 4.